what's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Data War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, we have destroyed the Spanish Empire and we're also uh, defending against a pirate sally at Antigua. And I think this will be the end of their garrison. So let's take them out. We will not be uh, waiting for them to come to us. We will be advancing and attacking them. And once we take Antigua, that will be the, uh, the second to last pirate fortification secured and I think we still own Curacao so once we take Antigua we convert it over to well try and well actually no we can't convert over to our religion yet we have no agents but we'll have to build up some sort of a garrison because they'll probably hate us uh, 12 pounders stay at the back lobbing shells uh, get my Line infantry to form strong center. Get my militia out on the flanks to push around. Oh, I've missed out a unit of Freikor. They will join the left hand flanking companies. Split up my melee infantry on either flank. Bows at the center. Native auxiliaries up the left. General in the center. Let's get a crack in. Move up with all speed. Then we will redeploy as necessary. There you go. Push my melee troops up. Yep, yeah, they got some spicy mortars to watch out for who are hitting my marines which is a smart decision really because they're good infantry but we are going to be formed up ready for the pirate mob to get within range they will then be um, pushed back they'll probably break under this original under this concentration of firepower what say you <laughs> yep there they go They want to go in for the push. They're more than welcome. Push up these. Push up my centre. These guys are being left far to the flank of the second regiment. But they can push up to fill that gap. Oh yeah, my cavalry. Gun it down the flank. Fifth light, fifth light foot getting eviscerated. The ninth light foot have stuck around longer, surprisingly longer than I would have thought. There we go. Let's get our get our flank on. Send my native war auxiliary to chase them down. Alright, well, off because I'll shoot into the back of my militia. Too late. You're going to be charging these buccaneers anyway, by the looks of it. New men charge, 10th regiment of militia. Push around and attack those mortars. Native, native cavalry charge the pirate mob. Understandable, the militia broke, because it looks like these guys with muskets could put out a reasonable amount of firepower. But the native cavalry will see them off. Push on into the next units. my line pushing get a unit of fry core inside this militia going to secure the guns yeah there we go we have 
broken the infantry concentration on the flank. Now it's just their guns left. And they're being dragged into combat with my militia. And there's one garrison unit charge onto the last garrison unit. These chaps are eager to play. If he killed a militiaman, but we killed his buddy. I have at you. There we go. Got him. This unit of Firelock Arm citizenry is reforming. Apart from that, though, I don't think we're going to have any issues. <laughs> they said fire, but actually their order was to run. That's more like it. Huzzah. Many pirates have fallen. Excellent, their pirate fortress is ours. Well, fortress of sorts, quote unquote. Well, there's another territory secured. They've blockaded our port, and that's fine. There's only so much damage you can do, pirates. Free trade doctrine, that's pretty huge. This doesn't that give us top tier ports? So let's repair the government building. Let's replenish you guys. I'm going to keep you as a military governor's barracks because I can at least recruit infantry to garrison Antigua because they've probably. Yeah, so we've got a full army in here, and we're still at zero. Resistance to foreign occupation, 30. Religious unrest isn't huge. Um, but at least I can recruit like a decent army here, actually, as a garrison. So let's keep doing that. Let's get rid of the shipyard at Guadeloupe. Okay, so Spain, Spain, Spain. So we took Morocco. We'll try exempting them from tax. Yeah, they're going to rebel next turn, so that's not going to help. But at least the rebellion will be dealt with that turn. Let's get some industry built here in Spain. Don't build any infrastructure here in Morocco, because all they're going to do is break stuff. Let's go for the Grand Opera House to get the increased bo bonuses to public order. And then just hold here, and these armies replenish. This force, Mr. Lauter, is pushing it towards Guadeloupe. Or Guadeloupe, Cartagena. Uh, to be ready for a push into North Africa. Let's do a bit of economy upgrading. It's going to suck up a lot of our cash. Actually, looks like a few of these areas could already be upgraded to global trading companies. Okay, so I started doing this fairly recently. I think it's a smart idea overall just to keep, once a turn, just upgrade one port to a global trading company. So all the has gone straight on with citizenship. That's okay for now. It's probably better to have Coburg research these political technologies because they're bigger, but yeah, we're not a massive rush to well, we're not a massive rush to uh, research everything for now. Oh, actually, Puerto Principe, do you want to be? To be honest, I, I, I I'm loath to recruit. Or to build um, church schools here, because so many of these regions are already mostly Catholic anyway. I mean, up here is a different story. Hmm. Dutch Guyana has got metal roads. So up to three and a half thousand. So you men push up, get the marines. You need... Did you recruit... Okay, so sometimes at the end turn phase, like now, when you do recruitment, things kind of get lost. Okay, you're on militia force guarding. You're in waiting for the push into North Africa as well. You can take those, men, but now you need artillery. Okay, no artillery at sp no artillery in France and artillery's en route, so you can get heavy horse howitzer, heavy horse guard artillery, plus a unit of twenty four pounders, plus a unit of twenty four pounder howitzers. That's four artillery. That's plenty. Four 
probably want two units of heavy cavalry. So let's get a unit of horn, uh, cuirassier reg taxi, and horn zolan cuirassier. Then you will be ready to bring battle to the Ottomans in the Balkans. You have the opposite effect. You are looking for troops. So get one unit of life guard at Trabatin. And we can also bring in these troops from Prague and from Berlin. Excellent. Actually, that might is that everyone? Uh, that's nearly too much infantry. Nearly. Yeah, you want some cavalry, so go back to Prague. Actually, I need to send two of you, th few of you back, because we're also recruiting a guard infantry unit. So we can recruit a guard infantry unit plus three cavalry. Maybe Frederick Geyer. He can also be ready to push here in the Balkans. Awesome. See, that would be Leeward Island secured. Our tech's good. We've done everything. Cool. Let's hit end turn. So let's get ready to have... Ooh, that's a bit of a long intern phase. Let's get ready to have a... a Moroccan rebel army join the fray. Mm -hmm, the Ottomans are making themselves ready. And are we going to have end turn troubles with the Ottomans? It looks like yes. So, see you in a second, guys. I'll bring you guys back at the end of the end turn phase. See you, everyone. And we're back, and Russia again is content to simply mass their forces around Vilnius, which is not a problem to me. It looks like they're also pushing into Polish territory, which is pretty handy. But uh, if they wish to go for the city in one giant army, that's fine, because we can hold them off for the battle timer, as far as the battle timer is concerned. They won't, they'll never get their entire army into the field um, to attack the city at once anyway, so that's not a problem. We will need to have a... Uh, breach and the walls ready. So Morocco has rebelled. We're going to go in and attack them and then... I don't know, actually. So the challenge is getting there and back without the rebellion getting worse. Which it most definitely would. So I think the smart thing to do is hold here. Recruit. Mass recruit some uh, native infantry. To act as a garrison, and then once we've got a reasonable garrison, we can push out and attack the rebels because all they're going to do is push around and break things anyway. So, as long as you don't build things, it's never really a massive issue. Inverness has, be has grown, so it's good. Build you up into a craft workshop. Craft workshop. Upgrade you to a commercial basin. She looks like we don't have a lot of areas to upgrade to a global trading company, so I suppose I might want to actually keep upgrading things to. Well, more generally, keep upgrading my ports. Because lots of my ports look quite low level. So, 5,000. Okay, so. You men are going to attack Algiers. You men are going to attack Tunis. So, Georg Guverman push out, which is just fine. Come on. Don't be silly. There we go. Declare war. Yep, yeah, because their only ally is the Ottomans and we're already at war. So you sail back to port. You men embark. Drop your troops off the coast. Do you men get back into port? There we go. Human get to Cadiz. My main fleet here at Sandy Bay should have been repaired before. I can just about squeak out a set of repairs. Mr. Light, now you're also ready to move. So let's recruit. Crew a bit of a force to garrison Lisbon just, to, just so it's not entirely unprotected and get you guys over to Cartagena as well. Oop, 
apologies for that. Uh, okay, so you're going to attack Algiers, you're going to attack Tunis. Uh, Tripoli will have to wait for another day until this army's in position. So you're going to hold, let the Moroccan rebels rebel, while at the same time I just try and drive down this, this resistance to foreign occupation. That's the only thing I can really do. Okay, let's recruit something over here. Colonial Light Infantry. Good. Cavalry's on the way. Artillery's being recruited up here in Paris, I'd wager. Yeah, maybe some of it might be a bit closer. You're on the way. You men are falling back to Prague. Yeah, you are. You've also needed things. Doesn't matter. They're slowly inching up. So maybe you men get a bit of replenishment money. And you fold yourself into another unit. Actually, I suppose it might have been an idea. Bring you guys just down here. Tact as re reserve or reinforcement for Hungary. Cool. Let's hear then turn. And I suspect we will have the same uh, issues around the Ottoman end turn next time. But I'm hoping as I push across North Africa, that should become less of a big deal. Okay, you're going to play around? Yes. Okay, so see you in a second, everyone. And as is tradition, Russia masses its forces, although it looks like they might be coming at us. Which means, actually, it could be quite interesting in Hungary, we may have a coalition of troops against us, which means that we'll actually have more, uh, plenty more men uh, attacking the city at once than we normally do. Which would be pretty interesting, so I'm willing to see if that happens. Yep, Moroccans are just going to spend their time burning down the farms of the regular Moroccan people. Yeah, do what you like. Uh, so you raided the farm. To be honest, I could just push out with my native troops, which isn't a bad idea. So just to make sure I don't forget, you men attack Algiers. You men are probably just going to demand the surrender of Tunis. No, they didn't give it to us. Uh, okay, so. Economy upgrades, always good. Get some port upgrades done. Maybe not too maybe not too many port upgrades. Your marines are ready. You men push up to Hungary. Good. You may as well recruit Howitzer and a field artillery team. You got three slots, so let's get a Let's go for... They're not a colonial light cavalry, not a gendarmerie. Get a hussar unit. Get a light cavalry sharpshooter unit and a cuirassier reg taxi. There we go. The new guys will be up and ready. Drop a couple of military upgrades near the front. Five grand left. Back over to the Americas. Drop some more troops. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, minus thirteen. They're in, it's going to take a while for them to accept us as their as their lord and savior. And it looks like we're going to start running out of population. 180. Right. Okay. So Santo Domingo. Pirates, buccaneers, African musketeers. Recruit some African musketeers. It's going to be a bit of a garrison force that follows the. Uh, the army around, I think. Probably stand to upgrade some some of our ports. Which is anyone that's struggling to export? Nope, tobacco's doing well. Aha! We don't know, actually. We don't have enough port capacity to upgrade sugar to export sugar as well. But our ports are currently at full capacity as far as we can get. So let's. Upgrade the Weaver's Cottage instead. Okay, lots of good upgrades. 
You men say a march across to Cartagena. Let's embark these troops. So then this sloop, Sloop Brummer, is going to deploy their troops off of Sicily. Not Sicily, Libya. So then sloops make port here. Let's take one of our light galleys, Maria, and get them over to Cartagena. Good. Well, I mean, this is going to be just an auto. We've tried to kill my general, which that didn't work. See, so man, just replenish what you can, and then let's take Mr. Lauter. And let's attack this army properly, because we've got a bit more of a, a fight in them here. Uh, but yeah, next turn we will knock out the Bavarian pirates, or the Barbary states. Not the Bavarian pirates, we're the Bar Bavarian pirates. Uh, but yeah, we will take out the Barbary states, and then we will push on with some of our armies into Cairo. We're also going to land an army in Petras and attack up towards Athens and begin recruiting troops in the Balkans. Oh dear. We already have the artillery advantage and now we've got... Now that's a pretty poor place to put it. But here isn't. Gun them down from the high ground. 32 pounders and 24 pounders. We're going to fire round shot because we don't need to fire um, quick climb, and we want to see if we can get a bit of bit of experience with our howitzers. So these men, their job is to go through the town and clear it. These men are going to push around to the left. Um, put our cavalry out on the left as well. We're going to push quite aggressively forward. Now oh, we've got enemies coming in on the left. Camels on the left as well. So you men actually you may form a form a wee defensive line. There goes one unit of enemy demi cannons. You men attack that unit of demi cannons. My howitzers and my other howitzers just attack whoever you like. Camel nomads over to the rear. To be honest, it looks like they're just going to group. So I might get my my foot artillery up here. Nah, can't attack them. Some infantry are going to probe towards the camels, but the rest of them are probably going to form a line here to engulf the enemy. Let's get our infantry to run. Let's get our cavalry further out on the flank. Camels are about to wander within range. going to fire off their volley. So you men probe towards the camels. The rest of you are going to form a line to try and engage the flank of the enemy concentration. Don't want my. Ooh, might have some friendly fire here. We have. We've knocked out one of our own gunners because they've deployed so close. Oh well. My cannons engage the enemy camels.
push forward. Pushed back one unit of armed populace, some gunfires just killed a few camel riders. See men chase down the there, those enemy warriors. Harass the camel gunners until they are forced to flee. Even hit the desert warriors, we need to get out of there quickly. Run this way. Actually, they're wavering. Even though they scare camel they scare cavalry, we can still push. Engineers attack that armed populace unit. Yeah, there we go. Camels are gone. Cease fire all the guns. Get rid of these. Get rid of this cavalry. There you go. My engineers are going to win against the armed populace because we are guard infantry. But these are pretty cool looking armed populace units. They look quite thematic. This guy's stuck way out on his own. Yeah, that's what happens. What about this guy with his hatchet? That guardsman's down. He's killed someone. His buddies need to break through. That regiment of foot charged the armed populace. There you go, they lost a good number of troops in the charge. Okay, you three form up against the enemy camels. And there you go, that's the armed populace dealt with. Push up the flank. Hidden troops, eh? Get everyone over here. Gunners engage. We have our new targets. Oh, they're bayonet charging us. Interesting. I'll have some of that. Ceasefire the howitzers. You men push through. Hit the camel nomads because they're, they're uh, wavering. Yep, and they're broken. Charge on through into the Amazons. Enemy generals fallen. You can attack the... Oh, they're all dead as well. Well, they're routing anyway. Cavalry pursue the last unit of Amazons up on the hill. got their volley off, but it's not going to save them. Yet yeah, they know it. They know it. Nice. Excellent. That is Algea secured. And that is going to be, well, the left flank of our empire secured. Can't repair anything at the minute. And there's currently, how far away are you from towns growing? Ah, uh, we need to get rid of this guy out of our territory first. 
Let's take our Prushnik horse and secure Oran. We're going to destroy the shipyard and replace it with a fishing port to try and get, get uh, this town to grow quicker and replace it with a um, replace it with a church school to try and get more missionaries and more priests in the area. But I need to, I'm probably going to hit in turn to get some money to rebuild things. That that, yeah, they can they can raid as much as they like. Their empire is not going to exist in very many turns. Uh, cool. Okay, let's hit and turn. I mean, I suppose that unit there, with all the fortifications around in southern France, may be full of artillery. Because sometimes it's, it can be a bit strange. Sometimes the game decides that uh, when you recruit units, the orders that the, the recruited units have to march to your front lines sometimes disappear. So it can be a bit, uh, a bit buggy. But following the tradition, I'll see you in a second, everyone. Ah, uh -huh. and the continual congregation of Russians uh, remains, uh, remains permanently, I guess. Why is my, why is my phone? Well, hey, on my phone's always listening. Stupid thing. Uh, right. Barbary states are in panic mode. Because they are aware that bad things are going to happen. We booted them out of the port and now they decide to blockade said port even though there's nothing to happen. Oh, actually, there's a... There's an island there. I need to, there's a port I need to secure. Well, they tried to kill another one of my generals. Once we take Tripoli, that will be the end of you. Ah, oh, how quaint. <laughs> if I attack the army next to the city, maybe we won't have to fight the city. Oh, no way! Ah! Okay, so where's Misper? Yeah, I can't get to Palma. Let's try and recruit a sloop inside the port itself. Some good port upgrades, commercial basins, commercial ports. Inverness has got an iron workshop, but let's repair you. Let's replenish the troops. Let's upgrade better roads, upgrade you to a local fishery. Good, let's repair all of the infrastructure in Tunis itself. I mean, I may as well upgrade the roads because they're not going to be alive long enough to make use of it. I mean, you've pulled back a pair of camels to help defend Tripoli. We know all know how that's going to end. Yep, they're in. They're desperately trying to kill my commanders. But that's not going to help them. She might even preemptively move this sloop Brummer into Safaki. Yeah, let's go to Cartagena and recruit a sloop to occupy Oran. Probably want to re replenish these troops here. Although you guys are probably enough just to push out and attack. But you are definitely enough to push out and just slaughter these rebels. You rebel scam. Good. So you guys are... Yeah, you're pretty happy. Now there's no rebels to deal with. Uh, do I want another port? I can have one. One port. But other than that, I require... Trade and income. As long as I can have about 1,500 left. I'm pretty sure you... There you go. You don't have cobbled roads. You guys can come back, garrison Morocco. Well, this main force can push and probably attack Patras and Athens. Let's take Mr. Leitner and attack this last uh, this last Barbary State's port. And then we will push across the coast, push along the coast towards Cairo and open up a third front against the Ottomans. Then we're attacking them in the Balkans, we're invading them in the southern Balkans, and we're also advancing through Egypt. All at once. They have to pick where they want to defend. Yep. You might have defences, but we've got heavy horse guard artillery. And I really don't care. <laughs> so you men... I mean, we have no howitzers. Not that it really matters. 
they have mortars, so we might take a few losses. But in general, we're going to blow numerous holes in the walls. And then we're going to push in everywhere. So you knock out that corner. You knock out that corner. I mean, one volley from the Heavy Horse Guard Artillery. Well, let's see how much damage it does. The middle gun didn't fire. Ah, oh, and a bunch missed, actually. Let down. But still, let's speed up time. Here come the camels coming in to reinforce. But sadly, that will not save them. Yeah, we're going to knock many holes in the wall. Oh, how cute. I mean, I'm not going to push. I'm going to resist that temptation. But the general's bodyguard is not going to evade my... Oh, I'm in slow mode. All right, that makes sense. Ah, oh, camels. Well, my Jaegers are going to have a go. That's downed a few camels. Can we kill their, f their fool of a general who decided to push out? There we go, got him. You men withdraw. Bounce up my line. We're going to treat these infantry as the tasty morsels they are. The main thing to watch is will this push make my get my infantry within range of their mortars? They're advancing headlong into three strong, steady units of infantry right here. Fools. Got a bit of cover from the field, from the wall and the and the uh, fences. Make sure they're all fire it will on. Brave but foolish. They just don't care. Now they care. So the corners are quite badly damaged. My men are reloading, ready for this auto unit. Oh, some men have already been killed. But my men are frantically reloading. You guys are behind the hill, my lifeguards, so they're not going to be super useful. The, you know, the end's going to fire. Are they going to make it? These men are going to make ready and fire? Yep. Yeah. That's like proper platoon firing, because they've stopped firing. These guys have started firing. And these guys are going to work their way back through the ranks. And then they'll be ready fairly soon. There they are, they're ready. And this unit, this unit's finished firing. Oh, beautiful. 
Anyway, back to the scheduled programming. Knocking down the walls. Your unit is wavering. Where's the rest of your unit? Okay, you're at the. Okay, you. You're out on the to the rear. Yeah, fine. But let's see. Yeah, I'll knock down multiple holes in the wall so that when we push, we push every entrance we can. So you've almost made your breach. And then go for here. Work your way in, destroy the entire front face of this wall if you have to. One more volley will destroy this corner section. There we go. He will attack that section. See that? 52% already. It's almost destroyed. Well, no, aim for this section. See if you can trap a unit on the wall. Even if we don't kill them. Even if, even if we don't get a lot of kills on the wall, it doesn't really matter. See, 52%. It's already half damage from one or two volleys, maybe. Ooh. We have some camels that are going to sally out. Interesting. So I've got Curiosity Air here. They'll deal with you. They can't make up their mind what they want to do. I guess they want to hit my Jaeger. It's as far it will turn far it will off until they crest the hill. But you're you're actually more okay. When I mean, you're ready to fire, they're definitely within range. Same with you guys now, actually. Or well, it's not within range, but there's no cover. Excellent. That's right, my Jaegers too. General's also going to get involved. I'm going to get my Jaegers up, a unit of Jaeger up onto this section of the wall, capture the gates, and also bring accurate musket fire down onto the enemy. So let's get the 59th Regiment to hold the gate, while the 2nd Light Foot scale the walls. Let's get the 60th Regiment to secure one section of the wall, get my cuirassier in. My lifeguards are also going to join combat. Form square. You men push in. Break square. Engage the enemy here as well. You men. Everyone get in, to be honest. You men. Both attack the fire lock arm populace. Camels are gone. Everyone get in. Swarm, swarm, swarm. You men push through the gate. You men both attack the armed populace. And there we go. You men attack that Union of Desert Warriors. You men push the Desert Warriors here. 
Lifeguards. Eh, if you're gonna run away, send my cavalry after the artillery. But this armed populist unit isn't gonna stand for very long because they're surrounded. The enemy troops are just falling everywhere. Yep, now they've realised their mortars are under threat. But the gunners are going down. There's a lot of men attacking this one armed oh, populace unit. No, nope, keep going after the gunners. Oh, they didn't want to scale the walls anyway, it appears. Okay, my curiosity are going to get bogged down by the armed populace now. I want them to go for the mortar garrison, because one of these is their general's unit, I would wager. Even so, the enemy is well and truly done for. These men have just been butchered in their own breach. Come on, lads. You can't hold forever. Okay, there goes the mortars, so you guys can keep attacking the armed populace. And my Jaegers secure the centre. Everyone else just carry on doing what they're doing. My like bright, glorious green Jaeger. Very emerald green. They look great. Can you man push up here to help the cavalry? Get this cavalry over to try and push this block a bit more. There we go. This file of calm citizen unit's finally been destroyed. There we go, they finally broke. Charge! <laughs> Still a lot of good casualties. But well, there we go. The city is taken. The Barbary State is no more. What we've managed to do here is significantly simplify our uh, problem of holding the territories. Okay, so can't repair your building yet, so I'm going to exempt you from tax just to try and make you guys a bit happier. Tunis is going to chill out, Algiers is going to chill out, Tangier has chilled out. Well actually, yeah, yes, yeah, so you're going to garrison Tangier. You're going to replenish and then head east. Well, just try and hold on, just try and uh, consolidate our control over North Africa, I think is the name of the game. Yes, that's already a... But that was, that was the artillery for this army that never got used. In which case, you men push to Munich, where we will recruit another army and use you for the for these purposes. Okay, cool. Let's hit N10. Mm, recruitment pushing through uh, occupied territory. They may well get attacked by the Ottomans. Mm, the Polish are sli slowly getting a bit more confident. They are more than welcome to. Uh, 
and are the Ottomans going to be okay? It's funny because they they sometimes get very very juddery and slow the game down, but then sometimes they seem to work out what they need to do and then just not become a problem anymore. But it looks like oh, actually it's going okay. So have a bit of coffee. Yeah, things will simplify once we begin our offensive against the Ottomans and ultimately once we destroy the Ottomans. My personal suspicion is it's the crossing between Istanbul, well, it's the, it's the crossing at Istanbul. They can't necessarily work out that the best, that the only real way to cross it is to jump into the city and then jump into the city and then exit the city on the other side of the bank. So they're kind of working out, do they, how do they get across? Do they run around the, the uh, Black Sea? Okay, yeah, that's not so bad, actually. Hooray! <clears throat> I, sh I would like to build up a bit more of a Baltic fleet, actually, to help protect my northern coast. Although I do actually have a fairly good fleet there already. But then again, I need money everywhere. That's the thing with, with empires. There are so many different things you can spend money on when you're a growing empire like this. Generally, though, I, I tend towards... It can be better just to do one thing well. So, like, rather than do... Rather than do bits and pieces, just say, right, I'm going to commit to making... To having a fantastic army. I'm going to commit to having the best navy I can. I'm going to do... I'm, I'm going to upgrade a bunch of... A lot of my economy. I Generally, that's the... That's the that's what I find as being the best result, because otherwise you end up spreading your money so thin you can't actually have a devastating or critical impact in any one place. That's just my opinion. There are times where it's definitely needed, like early game, where you feel fundamentally you just can't do stuff. You can't do... well, you, you have to kind of fight fires effectively, that's what you need to do. But late game like this, where you've got you've got the money every turn, where if something goes wrong, you can just dump a bunch of capital into solving a particular problem. You may as well just go all in on one particular aspect of the problem that you like that you need to solve. Can you guys leave Algiers? Minus three, not for a turn. Fair enough. You guys are probably going to be similar. Uh, actually, they can handle it. Well, lots of religious unrest. In 28 turns, Kasserine will develop. I mean, it'll be faster because we're going to build farms and upgrade our fisheries. Good. And then Tripoli. I'm going to upgrade you, replenish you. I'm not going to upgrade the trade port because we're probably going to get... Well, we are going to get... Um, Get a sea rebellion, so I'm not that bothered about that. Three thousand seven hundred. Bring in the artillery. Actually, you're one short of something. And I'm gonna get. Where oh, was it? I'm sure I recruited a good foot, uh, the horse guard foot artillery unit for you. Hmm. Very well. Oh no, you're here. Yeah, that was it. I remember. So let's cancel that order. New men march up and, f and bolster the town. Then we can push and attack Zagreb because this force here is quite weak. There's an opportunity here. Quite a large defensive battle. Which would be pretty awesome. This garrison force is still making ready. So here, let's recruit one of our heavy horse artillerymen to be a general. Josef Ehrenberg. Good. You will bring up... Ooh. Grenadier Guards, Grenadier Lieb, Lieb Regiment, Lieb. Ooh. Interesting. Let's get one of you. Let's get a unit of... Oh, I can't get any more. Interesting, though. Okay. 
Good upgrades. How's our economy looking? 39,000 this turn. That's pretty good. So you're at full strength. So we control Strait of Gibraltar. Send a sloop out to Casablanca. Let this dry dock. Screw a light galley just to hold the dock. So you're going to be ready to move when you're replenished. You need to wait a turn. You're also going to be ready. So these two armies may land collectively at Cairo to attack it. And then Algiers, when they're ready, they'll land at Patras and push on to Athens. And their job will be to hold it and to create that new front line. Oh yeah, then the Americas are still a thing. Let's just bring over the sloop Koenig. Let's sail you guys over. I mean, you say it, you can't do it, but you definitely can. Drop them off here. You guys combine. Get the sloop back to San Juan. Good. I mean, it's still very unhappy with us, but that's okay. Let's hit end turn. I do intend to mop up the islands such as Sardinia and Malta, but really I want to bring war to the Ottomans first. I could potentially create... Actually, that would probably be quite a good job for some of the native units that I recruit in North Africa to secure those islands. They can, they can mop up behind the lines, and then they can join us at the front. They might not necessarily assault the city, because they're not quite so good um, in melee, and they don't have as good morale, so they might be a bit more vulnerable. But nevertheless, they could still be, they, well, they would be useful. And they'd add a bit of much, very much needed spice in these armies. <laughs> Russia still isn't ready to make their decision on what it is they want to do. Mm, they're pushing into Klausenberg. Yeah, the Mughals are still going to Mughal. They need to be dealt with in Iceland, but at least if they've got Iceland, they might leave us alone for a while. The pirates can't make up their mind if they're going to intercept the Louisianans. Good, okay, for a second I thought that might have broken the game, because I've never seen that before. Workers riot in Tripoli, and they broke the government building, but they've had a good old riot, and now they've chilled out. So... 68 turns to develop Mizrata, so this trade port is also going to be knocked down and replaced with a... Uh, fishing port. So keep boosting the port... Okay, good. Got some good economy upgrades in North Africa, so let's keep those going. So Balthazar Faber. Oh, come on. Oh my god, they haven't, they haven't got Alexandria garrisoned, so we can sail in and attack Cairo right off the bat. And there's no one defending it, so demand surrender for me. You men sail on to Jerusalem. How does Jerusalem look? Jerusalem is exactly the same. So what we're going to do is Mr. Guthman is going to sail to Jerusalem and demand the surrender of the city too. And Suez is ever so handily already not developed, so we can build that into a church school. Jerusalem is ours as well. But now we've got to hold it. Although you've got a school there, so let's destroy that. Cairo's also got a school. There it is, it's a university, so let's get rid of that. I mean, that's quite a coup, actually, that this coast is just completely undefended. 
upgrade. Coffee house, leave the pleasure gardens upgraded. Upgrade the port to a trade port, upgrade the farm. So they're going to be scrambling to deal with this. So Cairo, once we get rid of the university, they're going to love us. So we can have, this army will quickly be able to push forward and support the Jerusalem front. I'm not overly bothered about the money at the minute. The roads are a good get, to, so I can try and move my troops up the front quicker. Uh, you don't have your protection anymore, your guard ships. In theory, can you guys... Yeah, minus two is usually okay, but it depends what they break. They might break something like the government building, which could cause problems. There you go, Sloop Gaia, down to Oran. Good, 2,300. Probably want to upgrade the Smiths. But that was... That was easier than I thought. You men are ready. Let's advance towards the Ottomans, see if we can lure them into battle, because this general is really good for a brand new general, conflict general, and a soldier from birth. Or they may advance towards Hungary and we can intercept them. Because we are getting towards the end of the episode here. Let us see if the enemy allows us to... Or the enemy gives us the opportunity to force them into battle. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, Poland. I'll more than happily slaughter you in the fields of Warsaw. But are the Ottomans going to be silly and slow the game down again? Well, they're going to be panicking now because uh, we took Cairo without a fight. And I want to push on into Baghdad and fortify it against the Persians. Hmm, desperate trying to steal our technology because they know what's coming. Oh, that's the end of their turn. I suppose there's only a limit to how many... How many... Uh, <laughs> how many troops they can recruit and send to the front, because they know they're about to get smacked. And it's quite funny, really. We're at war with the three or two of the major powers in Europe, and they've not attempted to try and break through our front line, because it's too darn strong. Come on, pirates. What are you going to do? Nothing. That's what you're going to do. Nothing. 38,000. We've built the steam engine, which is a huge upgrade. Well, I forgot, actually. You got research carronades. So, go straight on. No, I'll carry on with shortened carbines. We're at the point now where it doesn't really matter. Let's upgrade the naval board to a naval college to continue our upgrades. But yeah, steam engines mean now that all of our... All of our industrial buildings can be upgraded to max level, so that's a ludicrous amount of spending that we can get done at the minute. But yeah, we've destroyed the school, so now Mr. Farber can leave Cairo, perfectly happy. Let's upgrade plantations and the weaver's cottage. Let's begin recruiting some Reinforcements here. So you can afford Mr. Lauter to leave Algiers. Down to minus one, so they'll complain, but then they'll let us get on our merry way. Steal this guard ship. Oh god, Patras isn't garrisoned either. Neither Sarajevo, Belgrade. Demand the surrender of Patras. Athens is also not garrisoned. You men exempt from tax just to try and bring you under control quickly. Blitz on towards Athens. 
Oh my god. Ottomans, what are you doing? So great you to craft workshop here at Cairo. Let's repair these buildings. We could fortify, but we're not going to. We've got a really good army. If they want to fight us in the field, they are more than welcome to. Let's destroy this dockyard here. Let's get some upgrades. So I do love Naples as a territory. It makes us a lot of good cash. But yeah, we're going to be spending a lot of money on upgrades. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So apologies for this offensive. That's a bit more of a fizzle than I thought. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Bavaria. Because I don't actually what I'm going to do. Aha! There we go. We'll kick off the next episode with a good battle. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the capture of Zagreb. Cheers, everyone.